you, Alana. And finally, a win for the Great Salt Lake this afternoon. The Utah Division of Water Resources says we are seeing promising results on the historically low lake. Meteorologist Nate Larson is out at the lake to tell us how much it's all changed. Yeah, Courtney, uh, the Great Salt Lake, they say, has risen 12 inches uh, just since the historic low last November. So in the fall of November, we had yeah the lowest record uh, levels the lake has seen. You can see here at the Great Salt Lake State Park, the dismal levels here in the marina, which, of course, is still closed. Hey, but a foot of new water in the lake this early in the season is a win, where that's all the lake rose the previous two years. So the Great Salt Lake water level will typically rise and fall by about two feet each year with runoff. Off an inflow replacing what evaporates in the summer, and with poor snowpack levels the last two seasons and record drought or record heat, I should say, it, this hasn't been the case. Going down further is because of how hot it was, especially 2022 was just record breaking hot, and so we just, we just lost a lot of water out of that from evaporation. And with the water year off to an epic start, of course, this year we should see the Great Salt Lake continue to fill some through about early April. Now, the Utah Division of Water Resources tells me that in a great snowpack year, maybe similar to what we're seeing so far this year, the lake level can rise by as much as three or even four feet. Live from the Great Salt Lake, I'm meteorologist Nate Larson. Back to you guys.